Welcome to Bubble Man's world, everybody. Morning. One of our last days here in Whistler. Yeah. The last day, last day for us. We gotta head back to the island tonight. Nice. Well, we gotta finish it off with a bang. Something big. 125 kilometer an hour big. All right. So this is what we're doing. <laughs> we are having a few bowls before we go off to the Olympic Sliding Center here in Whistler on Black Hole Mountain, and we're gonna go in these bobsleighs. Four, four man bobsleighs, like you saw in the Olympics, and, team. and go 125 miles an hour up on an ice wall and the, the whole nine yards. So uh, the unity in the community team. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> I, I wonder if they'll let us purchase a video of us sliding down in the bobsled. Because yeah. that would be if we if we can do that. You're right. I will you absolutely. Do that. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. shaking yeah. around, going around the corners. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm telling you, it's exciting. It really, it, look it up. <laughs> look it up. Whistler uh, bobsledding. Uh, you can see, you read the whole thing, and one of the things says that it, be prepared for extremely or fairly strenuous workout. So, I mean, everything, like Flav mentioned earlier, he said everything in Whistler <laughs> is hard and any, strenuous. Any sort of condition. So if they're if you mentioning can't, If you it, can't get in and out of the bobsled, oh you're God. not allowed to go. Yeah, there's a whole list of things that <laughs> I mean, you don't... Fit. If you can't keep up with them running with the bobsled, you might get dragged. Dude, if you weigh you too know, much, if you weigh too little. Ran over by yeah. Matt. You ran over by the ski Mark side. and Matt. Whoever, <laughs> <laughs> you know. The brake guy. Ooh, I hope I'm not in charge of braking. I want to steer. I'm steering. Hell yeah. I, originally, I don't think they let you steer. I originally thought <laughs> you were actually going to do the skeleton. I don't know. You can do the skeleton, but it's like, what do you do? They just does he go head first with the skeleton? Do you just? I can't believe you tuck your they arms in and you just go. They Listen, must chin must, first. I think they do. They, they, I think they just strap you in, and there's nothing that you can do, and you just. Sort it of blew go me down. away that they let people do that. But it's only like like a corner of the track with the skeleton. So I, don't, I just don't think it has the. You have the option to gain. The 150 kilometers an hour that the real skeleton pros get to. Right. Yeah, exactly. So this is that seven year Master Kush. Tastes nothing like Master Kush now. It tastes like the most insane, like, perfumey hash. It's really nice. I figure we're ending a big trip. It's been six days we've been up here having fun. You guys have uh, seen a little bit of what we've been doing, some of the skiing and snowboarding and a little bit of the, uh, the sledding, and now, of course, the bob sledding. so we'll see. Uh, what we'll about see the, the tubing? And I have some footage of the tubing, so I'll make sure they see that too, absolutely. I keep forgetting, we've done quite a bit. Yeah. <coughs> as much as we've just chilled, we have done. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, that was a big hit. That was a big hit. <laughs> It's okay, you're doing good. <coughs> the seven year hash hits like a champ too. It's just so greasy, like fill that piece. Seven years. There we go. Oh, we can get rid of it pretty, pretty fast. Just the butt end of it. Woo! Oh yeah. Bob I'm ready sled. for some bobsledding now. I'm gonna film as much as I can, like maybe just driving up to the sliding center and show them a little bit of footage of like walking into the center and seeing the facility. There you go, Aaron. Woo! Do you think have you ever been bobsledding on weed? Have you ever been bobsledding on weed? <laughs> on an Olympic course. On the Olympic bobsled That's course. That's the crazy part of it. It's like, yeah, Not bobsled. only that, but it was like it was like a it was like a hard course. It was. A, it's a treacherous course. Yeah, yeah. In the world of bobsledding, it's one of the fastest, most dangerous courses that there is. Well, isn't it true? Like <laughs> one of the first days of the Olympics, some dude, some guy yeah, went yeah. off. Went yeah. off it was too. It was too fast. 
Yeah, it, they have it these, is luge. And they just shortened it down. Like the Russian, like it was a Russian guy, or one of the top guys. Yeah, Uzbekistan or Kazakhstan. He, was, he loved was, it. He loved the course. Nadar. He was a young, young get guy, and there's actually a memorial for him um, walking out of uh, Lower Village into Upper Village, just on this, the right side. Um, he, was he doing the skeleton? Luge. The luge. I'm pretty sure it was luge. So that's on his first. back. Back. On his back, yeah, feet first. Skeleton is head first on your stomach. And then, um, uh, of course, the uh, the bobsled is all all four of us. Well, three of us and one guy right. inside. So it's either going to be uh, it. we also have Flav with us, and we also have uh, Sarah with us. So between the five of us, we're all going to go um, in two separate uh, twice. Twice. No. Once. Well, once or twice we'll find out. It was we'll the skeleton. You. If you did the skeleton, you got to do it twice. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. nuts. <laughs> I know. I, I remember saying I have to do it twice. <laughs> like, can I start off somewhere lower? Maybe and just slide. Um, well, I say we get ready. It's yeah. twelve forty. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta head down there. Peace. Bob sledding. <laughs> All right. So we have made it up to the Whistler Sliding Center. Slide like an Olympian. Try public bobsleigh. Hmm. You guys got your picks? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Gotta get our social media picks. Gotta drive over a BMW when we come in. So he thinks he needs the middle of the road. <laughs> I'm in a big truck, bro. Okay, so Mountain Access Road, track operating building. Hmm. Yes, sir. Guest services refrigeration plant. Welcome to the Whistler Sliding Area. I'd say straight, no? no? Wouldn't you think? Mountain Access Road and Track Operations Building. Guest, guest, service. guest services. Guest All right, services. let's do guest services. You're right, we're guests. Of course, 107. We, of course we want to the guest services. Then they'll take us up there. I get yeah. the idea. Look at this, is it right here? This is the wall right here. Man, this is freaky. Yeah, lots of room for my truck in there too. Oh, I will, don't worry. It's <laughs> peak to peak gondola. Pretty excited about this whole scenario. I'll leave that spot for Dave and I'll go for the far away there. Oh. This is super, super stoked. Oh no, this guy's truck is bigger than mine. Should I feel small? Yep. Or should we just assume that he has a much smaller wiener than I? We're probably in the wrong spot. Yeah, we are. Guest and athlete check-in. Are we athletes? No, but we're guest services. Guest services is definitely where you'd go if you wanted to, say, be a guest. This looks like the right spot for real. Well, because you're on the mountain, so it's like everybody here's a guest. Spoiled yeah. customers. Hey, look, the warning area under video surveillance. I should walk in and say, warning, you're all under my surveillance. Mm -hmm. Check the public race director. Matthew. All right, let's sign some death waivers. Here's John Montgomery. Baron and Matt are just signing their life away on the "If I Die, It's Not Whistler's Fault" uh, form. You, f you filled that out there, Matt. He signed it over to me. Your death form. I didn't sign is that this, one. Is this Aaron signing his this. soul over to you? I didn't sign that. You forgot. I didn't sign that. You forgot. You didn't fill out the whole paper. I'm going to well. show you a little bit of action here. Uh, Skeleton medalist. Luge medalist. I didn't fill it out. Uh, yeah. Just come around here and all it looks like your weight and height. Do I start filling this out for Bobsnake? Are we cutting it in? Are we cutting it close, Matt? <laughs> Just take all that stuff out of your pockets. Take that hoodie off. You got a lot of stuff on you. Yeah. That hoodie probably weighs like 18 pounds, bro. Nice. Yeah. Is this where you have to tell people you can't go on because you're too, you weigh too much? 
Is this a realistic thing yeah, that happens often? It is. Well, it doesn't happen often. So it doesn't happen. Tell them before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. So <laughs> come here and we'll Yeah. We can do it, dude. Yeah. So you're gonna need to wear uh, something that is in the box there because um yeah so like how much do you weigh right now? Give me my coat. Two, two, two. We gotta make it. We gotta make it. We're gonna be tucked in. Sorry, guys. Get him some special shoes. Yeah, yeah. Make it look like you're gonna be like all. What about a bodysuit? Yeah, we get one like all. This is the first. This is the first adventure. We're gonna make this work. We're gonna make this work. Maybe some flip flops. Yeah, yeah, flip flops and a bodysuit. For sure. Might look a bit crazy, but. Make it put work. some second skin on his hands instead of gloves. We'll make it work. Yeah. I weigh way under 200 pounds. He can go on my sled. What is it? You gotta keep it down to a certain amount. Yeah, yeah. Dude, he made it. He made it. <laughs> High five. Yeah. I knew you were making it. I, I felt it. We kind of will balance it out from weight and height and stuff because we don't want. I'm a 180er, so we don't want to go, go too up. fast. I uh, know it's not even that. It's just like because if you have three big dudes in the sled, it's not going to be comfortable inside there. Oh yeah. You know, it's three big dudes. <laughs> 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 uh, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Bottom line: faster or slower? Three big dudes in a sled. Saying <laughs> lean. That's saying enough right there. We need to make room for a party. And when we get out, will you be handing us a pitcher of beer? Is that how that works? Uh, we all like. Uh, yeah, no, unfortunately. Not. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah, so if you just bring this to Kane, he's going to get. Arlen does wish that was the case. I can hear it in his accent. He's drinking some beer. What size head do you have? Big head. Big head. Large or medium? Let's try that. Going for the LG. Ooh, that looks way big. No? Did it fit good? Good. It's good. How's it feel? Oh, this is hilarious. There's Flav and Sarah getting sorted out in the background. Trying to be snug and loose. Get the slap on the guy in front of you. I guess this is the live feed. Be able to walk for 15 minutes up a steep slope. Be able to hold their weight firmly on the sled. Great, great. So we're going to follow me and uh, we're going to go up to the tent for your safety presentation. You guys ready for this? <laughs> we can take our shit out. It's put it in the car right now. Our hats at least. We could. But let's just give it to the guy. I want to wear my hat. We're videotaping here, man. We can't have our hats off. Take our hats off. Come on. That's a lot of people going bobsledding, huh? They smokes. Do with the skeleton, man. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still drunk from New Year's. And I'm not and I never even drank. They like see it in 2016 when you get out of your coma. <laughs> <laughs> Cool how they got all the country's flags. What's that? Oh, I got you guys. It's the, it's the first test to see if you can walk the 15 minutes up the hill. Yep, it is. You can't do it, you're not going. Yep. I know, they're just like all harsh with their You don't have mitts. You're out. <laughs> you're out. <laughs> you gotta go down before you can go up. You gotta get in before you can get out. You don't know these things? Yeah, okay, that's the wall. You gotta lock the truck before you go up. This is just exciting. Another fun experience. I mean, let's be honest, bobsleigh, that's unity in the community. You go I, down together. I love bobsledding. Have you ever done the bobsled on weed? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Yeah, he is. So this is the bobsled track right here that we're beside. This is a giant wall, corner, yeah. So wait, for 180 bucks, they don't drive us up? I'm just joking. You gotta be able to walk up, man. Now we're going on the inside. No, we're going to a van for sure. Here's a little... Cool facts, there are no brakes on a skeleton sled. 
They slow them down by dragging their feet. That's what it said. Still want to do the skeleton there, Mac? <laughs> no brakes. Push it down. Eh? There's no stop yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. It's like a talon on your toe to slow you down and push you into it. Oh, you get to the bottom and my toe would be gone. Boom. I lost my toe. Took it off on the ice, bro. I was five pounds over the weight limit. You're just like, oh. That's what you get, man. Oh, this, oh, this is cool. You want to take us up on those little things? Yeah. Look, that's the, the oh, way. this is super that's cool. Right we are there. in the course right now. Yeah. yeah. Let's go check this out. Oh wow! Yeah, I remember watching that movie on the other slide. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, just for anyone who actually hasn't been out here before, this is uh, this is corner 15, which leads into 16, which is the big wide open corner. So this is where you'll be going the fastest. You'll probably be hitting like 125, 126 maybe today. Uh, yeah, and it's pretty cool. You can actually see the marks of the sled on those four logos. So it actually goes up like above the logos and back down through the Whistler sign and back up again. So it's pretty cool, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, are we coming down that way or coming down this way? Yeah, so you'll be coming down this way. That's actually the outrun over that way. So that starts to go back up back hill up. to help you slow down. Uh, yeah, so basically what, when we finish the presentation, we'll bring everyone back down here and anyone who isn't in the first two sleds will get to watch the first two sleds coming down. Uh, which is pretty cool because that's when everyone starts to change their mind. <laughs> yeah. Alright? <laughs> <laughs> Super cool. Hold the presentation. Yeah. We should grab a seat or what? Yeah. All right. Grabbing seats. Push over. Let Sarah have one. Oh, that's nice. That heat. How you feeling about this, Dave? I'm feeling pretty excited about this, actually. I am too. I'm starting to go down 120k. Down down slope. 125 kilometers an hour. Yeah. Dabbed there. out of our skulls. Totally. Dabbed out of your skulls. A prank. <laughs> <laughs> to to who? I don't know. I don't know. So, basically, what we've done already is you've probably seen I won't show you. Before I'm going down, you're still going to be getting about 125, probably quicker today because it's nice and cold and the ice is pretty quick. Uh, and you're going to experience about 3 to 4 Gs in the last quarter. Okay, uh, and everyone's worst fear when they come here. Uh, if we crash, okay? So we, we sent over 6,000 sleds last season and we didn't have a single crash, so it is still a possibility. This isn't an amusement parade. Uh, it is a possibility that the sled might tip over. Uh, so in that case, what we want you to do is hold on nice and tight. We want to get you to make yourself as small as possible. So how to do that is tuck your head in towards your knees. There's nice big high backs on the sled which will protect you and we'll come get you as soon as we can. But don't worry about it today. So, um, opting out. We don't like force anyone to get into the sled. If at any point you feel super uncomfortable, then it is okay to back out. Um, what I would say is, if you go to the start, please talk to the pilot, talk to the tracker, talk to us. Uh, we'll make you try and feel more comfortable. Everyone seems to be a lot more comfortable once they see the pilot. What happened now is we're all going to walk down to corner 16. The first six people are going to go up in the van and then everyone else is going to watch the first two sleds coming down, which is pretty cool. So uh, from there then we'll get you up uh, in two sleds at a time. And uh, yeah, we'll see you at the finish. So I'll just call out the first six. All right, well, this is this is on like Donkey Kong. It's getting real. This is straight happening. All right, we're heading back down the sliding center. I guess we're gonna have a seat inside there. I wonder where people can come and watch. 
Like if they wanted to, could they come right up here and stand there? Or? Yeah, those kids are going. <laughs> right. I think that's what uh, Aaron said she was going to try to do. Hey, Mark, you want to rotate on both your position? Wait, is that the guy that headbutts the pilot? Yeah. Ooh, and you can't bend your back? <laughs> You're calling reverse shotgun on me? No, I don't want shotgun. I know. So we go down there and around here and back up again. Pretty cool. That's a good shot right there, you guys. Did you feel it? <laughs> you just hit a track record. <laughs> I'm still coughing from the last one. <laughs> Safety break before we go bobsledding. No smoking on the track. It's essential. No smoking on the track. It's you guys because, are rebels. because I have anxiety now. That's anxietous. But I'll always pay for your water, Matt. Sweet. Because Matt knows how to share genetics. Water. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, outed. Oh, outed. Whistler Sliding Center. He's hanging out with just, Benji. Uh, we load him onto the back of a flatbed and then just drive him up. Which is pretty much how everything gets brought up here. <laughs> you should have seen them bring the cable up from the peak to peak gondola. Oh, yeah. There's like a documentary on it. Yeah, it was pretty wild. Wow, hey. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Why did I think it's on like massive construction? That job. Massive. Is it called massive? How'd they get the cable from one side to the other? Uh, they actually just strain along the valley floor. Yep. And then slowly tighten it up. They had to cut, they had to cut like a path. Oh yeah, they cut a lot of trees. It was actually a really nice ski run. It's so sick on both sides. <laughs> but I'll tell you, if you don't know... Just say careful how far you're down, you If go. you don't know how far that last road is and you end up down in the creek, it's not fun as a snowboarder. Kind of, I guess met in the middle. I was going to give you this camera to take back down if you don't mind. Not a problem. Then you guys, so after we're done, you guys drive us back down? Correct. Yeah, I'll pick you up at the finish dock and then yeah. take you back down to the uh, lodge there where you guys can pick up your certificates. That we, we participated in. Yeah. Olympic it, sliding, bro. Speed. I think it has like the team photo on okay, it. Okay, time out. Yeah. Is this the top or is this like the seventh turn? Yeah, this is it. corner seven. So Holy two Christ. Three. Yeah, that's all that way. Another wow. Yeah. Jesus. This, this is, is huge. This is track, corner which seven. Which we were hoping to send people from, like yourselves, but... The, uh, during testing, we found it was just a little too intense. I'm happy with too that. Intense. Yeah, it's amazing. You know Actually, ten kilometers an hour. Like just adds to the G's. Talk. Adds to the G's. We like G's. I'm really not sure if I want to. All right, <laughs> unity in the community. What did that guy just tell us that works here? He said that he works here, and he's not ever gone higher than uh, turn three, not to the top, because he didn't want to go more than five and a half G's. Oh Jesus. All right, excited.
Yeah. Right. Excited or nervous? <laughs> All of the above. Yeah. If you're not nervous, you're not going to have fun. Awesome, gonna... exactly. Are you going to take a driver with you? You didn't tell your orientation? These guys are driving. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are driving. Well, I'm glad the United hat's not my sled either. You can go on his sled, yeah. <laughs> You guys know. Clear for Damien Hayden. Take your time. Not the helmet I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be safe. <laughs> Man, they're wiping visors over here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of love in this room. That's it. Absolutely. So do you want me to load these guys back? Or no? Which one do we want? We're thunder on ice. I want the thunder on ice. They're both thunder on ice. Eight, eight. Okay. Hey. 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 Hey
I'm still coughing from the last one. Safety break before we go bobsledding. No smoking on the track. It's essential. No smoking on the track. It's you guys are rebels. It's because I have anxiety now. That's anxietous. So this is Olympians, second place uh, silver medalists. Out train. We're uh, on the bobsled team. Matt and uh, Flav. They got dupes. The they got Shirley's. Sherlock's and Hash. They got Sherlock's and Hash. This is how we train. And over here we We're got Matt. The elitist of all. And back over here we got Flav. I'm out of hash now. So oh, big booger in the nose, but that's okay. <laughs> you sucked it up right at the end. There we go, smoking the camera. That's what I'm talking about, smoking the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gold medalist, silver medalist. Yeah. Celebrate. We got another uh, first another, for DNA. Another win for DNA. Another <laughs> second for Fuck the great Gardner and Flav. The first Whistler Cup. First Bubble Whistler Man, Cup. I'm just I'm just here for the show. I I was in the first right, place, but I don't know if I accept that or not. All right, booby doo boobs. I'll take the Sherlock actually once you're done. Huh? We were have a little rip know. of the Shirley. First Whistler. ever Whistler oh, thank Invitational you, you Bobsled right. Championships. First little help from place. my friends. Collab between Bubble Man and DNA won the cup. Went down the course faster than anyone. Here comes Sarah. Here comes Sarah. Here comes Sarah. Oh, down Sarah. Second place. <coughs> Sweet Lee. Sweet grass. Leave. Sweet grass. Sweet grass. Second place. Sweet. <coughs> Awesome. Dude, I think our driver <laughs> just did not give a fuck at that one. Dude, he's a bloody Liverpool fan. I wish he died. We had the coach. Oh! Wait, Damien? No, there's... Was it kind of violent? He's a Liverpool fan. You know, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> Anything. I had a little fresh Was yours kind of violent? Like a violent run? Uh, yeah. Uh, the the really? run was violent. Kind of violent? Kind of violent. Holy I was shit. like... Try like, sitting at the like, back. Like, Try like, sitting at the back. I'm like asking the guy, I'm like, how do you drive? How do you drive like that? No, like, but you've like, got all the like G's. A, it's just like a blur. You sat at the back. Oh, the back. Yeah, I got off the back, the and the guy was like, "Oh, you got all the G's." I'm like, "What?" He's like, "Yeah, all the I G's." I got all the G's. That's on the back. Uh, no, dude, I thought I got all the G's. I just was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I just, I just my sunk spine, in. I sunk in. My spine is just like, like coming out my ass. Out my ass. <laughs> And, I, and then we went around the second last turn, and, and I didn't see the Whistler sign, and I'm like, oh my god, we still have the Whistler turn. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, totally. I saw my wife standing there with my daughter. Yeah, we did really? Yeah. They were going around? So I was like, I heard Sarah screaming. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, no, that was me. And she's like, no, no, it was you were Sarah. in a different one. Oh, I heard man. you screaming too, she said. <laughs> Bottom line. Crazy. If you haven't been to Whistler yet, if you're thinking of coming to Whistler to have a fun-filled vacation with friends, herb, and good food, I would suggest that this has definitely been a fucking top-notch trip. Once in a lifetime. With top-notch <laughs> folks. Very enjoyable. Epic. And it's snowing! And it's snowing. Come and on! Snowing. Black Home hey. Mountain. And snowing. you can do the skeleton the next time. For We're going to do you the skeleton. Box. I could. We're I don't think I would do that. Do that I don't think sure. I could do. You could do the skeleton now. You know what? Oh, it's supposed that, to be. I think I could. No. Yeah. yeah. He said know. it was easier than the bomb. Safer. Safer. Safer and easier. easier. Yeah. So. Yeah, but but we'll you're see. by yourself. I don't believe him. <laughs> yeah. Shit is insane. At least I'm, I'm, I'm sort of confident that the guy. <laughs> like guys I talked to him after, and they're like, saying like, like, like if shit hits the fan, to have first hundreds joint ever smoked on the Olympic under rings. their belt to be able to no, to be able to no. Take, to take regular people down the run. Knowing like 
everybody who lives in DC. We just went with a 30 year veteran. Yeah. And How cool is that? Yeah, we had the That's why we went with the dude the who's dudes. like not the the guy, and he was laughing at the two dudes that were standing over there. He's like, yeah, you see those dudes over there? They're like, the, they're really well. They're like, they go more. They're the, they're the, they're the they're elders, like kind of. Yeah, right. basically. You know and the dude that. Us? No. He was like, the because we had the coach on our side. Exactly. Like, the guy that those guys got over there, he used to work at Arby's. Exactly. <laughs> that was our guy. Yeah. That was our guy, wasn't it? The yeah, Liverpool yeah. guy? Yeah. yeah, yeah the first, that's why he loved it when he got to the bottom. And he was like, first. He won. He yeah. did. He said to me, he said, look at those guys over there. Notice they're just kind of like this. And then, and then the, and then the <laughs> Not making... guy that was the driver before us, we got yep. to the bottom. The first thing he said to us is, I shouldn't have given you the tips on how to go faster. Mm. Yeah. Because he was we beat him. He got third, right? That's funny. He said it's all about the push. I bet. It's all about the push you get. For, uh, that's for sure, yeah. Yeah, totally. A hundredth of a second. Which like, is why they have to be second. so big and strong. Push off, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you know the guy that, the the big Canadian guy that won, he was the next football John player. Montgomery? Running back. Mm -hmm. John yeah. Montgomery. All right, well, we're going to seal off, sign off. Thanks for watching Bubble Man's World. See you at the next session. See you at the next session. Come <laughs> back and visit us in Whistler. Science Center. Fucked up back. Can't be. Oh, yeah. Anything. DNA wins everything.